Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones setups for today. So um, the more this goes on, the more it starts to look like a flag is brewing. But uh, there was a range bar here. I'm just going to put this 8-hour range bar in, which was during the U.S. session, basically non-farm payrolls uh, chaos. But if you get yourself a channel tool in, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Either do that, I can do that, or alternatively, uh, let me just rather do this. Uh, I can run this along the bottom here and uh, ignore this bottom channel line that looks very much like a flag. Big move down flag, another leg coming. So there is a lot of political noise in Europe at the moment. A um, lot of election noise. You've got uh, election noise in the US at the moment. You've got so much going on in the world today. But if you have a look at the 8 hour, you can see we're coming together with the oscillators. We've got a crossover one and nothing happening on this. So that's kind of a no man's land. Um, we're in amongst the moving averages, but we do have a bearish crossover of the moving averages at the moment. So that is very interesting, although price is above it. Uh, from an 8 hour perspective, this is looking like a consolidation for a leg down. Now, the S&P has also turned a little bit bearish in my mind, so that is a signal that you have direction starting to brew or form in the market, and that direction looks like it could potentially be to the downside. No confirmation yet, but definitely looking like something to the downside. So you can see how the fight is happening here. The sellers are trying to drive us down. The buyers are trying to, to stay in the fight. Um, we are below the 150 EMA on the three hour, but we don't have a crossover of the moving averages at the moment. And then you have the oscillators pointing to the downside. So this is all setting up for a flag. Now, key levels are basically the range bar. It's an eight hour range bar and a three hour range bar. And we'll get to those on the lower time frames because it's going to be a lot clearer when you see it down here. Right. So, um, bottom end of the range bar is the low of Friday. So that is 38.661. And the upper end is 39.123. So that is essentially the range that we want to break before we look for anything. I'm not in favor of longs at the moment, not with what I'm seeing happen in the market right now. Um, more on the leaning towards looking for shorts. And we need to just get one more level in. This is a swing high. And you can see how we paid attention to most of last week. We either tried to reject it or we tried to build supports on it. And then on Friday, we basically just ignored it above and below it as we got non-farm payrolls. This was non-farm payrolls here. Big move down, then big move up, and then big move down again. So it's still confusion. We're Moving averages are kind of flat. We do have a crossover. We're hovering above the 150 here. There is a pin bar right over here. Um, so let's just get to the 15 minutes and I'll give you those levels now. Right. So um, you can see how all the chaos in this is not going to be exact. So this 38,850 area. You can see the tails here. You'd want to see um, a rejection of that, but we're flat right now. Look at my oscillators indicating it's going to be a move down. Uh, price is flat, moving averages are ever so slightly pointing down. But this is the rejection I'd be looking for, 38,850. But watch out for 38,756 because that could send buyers into the market. And then ultimately, you want to get below 38,661. Now, Personally, I think I would wait for a break of the lower Friday for any shorts. I'm not looking for longs at all at the moment. So that would be my setup at the moment. Uh, what could happen is you could drop down to one of these two levels and then turn around and come and reject this. But it's so close that I think you're just going to frustrate yourself trying to get that going. And uh, you can look at what happens in between uh, 38.850 and 38.750. 
56. Well, let's just say 750. So 38, 750, 38, 850. So it's a 100 point range that we just been ranging in most of last week. Every now and then we drop to the downside, then we come back into the range, then we go up above it, come back into it, then we carry on back. And then Friday was just complete confusion. We couldn't defend the top of the range and we couldn't defend the bottom of the range. So I would argue that those are the two levels we need to pay attention to. I don't think I'll be looking for longs. Even if we do get above this and start rallying, I don't think that's um, a setup I want to trace. Uh, to me, there's just something brewing which is just is going to either trigger panic, which will you know, rapidly take you out, uh, or it just you know you think it's going to get going, it's going to reject one of these levels just above you, and then move below and sort of give you grey hairs. So I would be sitting very quietly. Well, I'm going to be sitting very quietly until I see some structure that I think we can. Um, we can get in on the market, but I'm leaning towards shorts. I think that's what you should be waiting for. Uh, we had a whole week last week of uh, longs brewing, but they didn't really materialize. So for me at the moment, uh, look for the opposite direction because that's what looks like is going to be happening. So some kind of a pullback is due, and that's my view at the moment. Anyway, I'm sitting still until I see something. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.